Evidence has emerged that some individuals who have been infected with the SARS-CoV-2 virus may develop long-term symptoms, suggesting that COVID-19 can develop into a chronic illness. These symptoms range from muscle pain, shortness of breath, and extreme fatigue to what's called brain fog, gastrointestinal issues, and even heart palpitations. Collectively, they've come to be known as post-COVID-19 condition, or PCC, also known as long COVID. We don't fully understand what causes certain individuals to develop PCC or what leads to the different disease manifestations. We don't know why women are twice as likely as men to contract it. We don't know why it can accelerate the onset of other chronic conditions like diabetes and heart disease. But it is evident that PCC is a serious condition that can have, at times, irreversible health consequences. In light of all this, as the minister said, I brought together experts and practitioners from across the country to provide the government with advice on ways to address PCC in Canada. In developing the recommendations, which we are releasing today, we looked at existing scientific evidence and heard from healthcare providers and people with lived experience. We spoke with many people who are suffering life-altering physical impairments. Their stories were heartbreaking. One individual reported feeling trapped in their own body. Another said they were treated with disbelief in the workplace. Still others recalled feeling abandoned by their community. And several reported difficulty accessing health care and social support. Most had lost their job. And this is my other point. Beyond the health problems, PCC also affects the daily lives of people, from their ability to work, to caring for their families, to interacting with their communities. And this can have significant societal impacts. For example, estimates from the US suggest that 10 million people with long COVID could carry an economic cost of $3.7 trillion a year when you take into account lost quality of life, lost earnings, and higher spending on medical care. With 1.4 million people in Canada already reporting symptoms, it's not difficult to imagine the serious ramifications for our own economy. Clearly, the risk of the disease is not evenly distributed, yet its impacts will be universally felt. So what do we do? To start, we need to acknowledge that PCC is real, that COVID-19 manifests itself as an acute, but also as a chronic illness.